Yes, dear students, let me have a question based on geostationary satellites here. So, let me write the question here. What does question say? means? Question they are asking like this, Nana. A geostationary satellite is orbiting the Earth at a height of 6 RE. That already we got it, row 9 theory. About 6 RE above the Earth's surface. Earth surface. Surface of the of Earth. In bracket radius is how much? RE. R being the radius of the earth. Earth. Then what you're asking me? The time period, this is the main question. The time period of another satellite, another satellite, at a height of 2.5 r from the surface of the earth. Earth is. See, question is so very simple. This is the average question which you can consider here difficulty level. See, if you take this is earth now here, and this is nothing but earth radius is here. And this is equatorial and planet, equatorial planet which we are having here. And one planet is revolving here at a height of what they told you, 6 RG they, so they told us here. So this is nothing but what we understood here, geostationary satellite we understood, that is height of the 6 RG, which is having mass similarity as assume here. So what we can tell here, T square directly proportional to what we know here, R cube. So R value is how much from here to here, no? So that's nothing but 7 R. Therefore, 24 hours, Whole square equal to what I can write it? 7 R cube, I can write it here. So let me make this as question number one here. Equation number one. Now, as a part B, what they're asking, the time period of the another satellite at a height of 2.5 R from the surface of the earth. So let me make one more diagram here. So in the diagram, what they're asking is here, we are having earth, earth radius is how much we're having R E. So we are, it's uh, traveling in another orbit. So at a distance of what distance they told us 2.5 Re, that planet. So we can apply same law here. If you apply same law here, what we can write it here? T dash square is directly proportional to what? Re plus 2.5 Re. That's nothing but 3.5 Re. 3.5 R whole cube. Make equation number two. So now what we can do means here, just simple two by one you can do here simply. So if you do two by one here, now what we get it here? One second. So simply what we can do here, we can do two by one. Two by one. So two by one, if you calculate here, T dash square is, is equal to 3.5 R whole cube divided by 24 hours whole square divided by what we can write it here, 7 R whole cube we can write here. So what will happen means here, this uh, R, this R will get cancelled, 3.5 yeah, 3.5 2 yeah. So 1 cube is nothing but 1 only, 2 cube is nothing but 8. Therefore, T dash square is equal to 24 hours whole square. I'm sending this value to here, Nana. So divided by 2 cube is nothing but 8. So I'm sending square this side, it will become like square root, no? Square root and this square will get cancelled. Root 8 will get it. Root 8 is how much will get it? So T dash square equal to what we can get it means 24 hours divided by root 8 will get it. Root 8 value is how much we know. So T dash square is equal to 24 hours divided by, we can write like 2 root 2, na? 2 1 ja, 2 12 ja. Therefore T dash square equal to what will get it? 12 by root 2 hours, we can write it 
r dash square equal to r you can write it means 6 root to r which you can write it here or if you want to substitute that root to value you know here so root to value we know that how much is that root to equal to 1.414 you just substitute this value you will get complete answer of this question which you can get here yes, yes. In this slide, what we are going to discuss means we are going to discuss about the gravitational field intensity. Gravitational field intensity. So, gravitational field intensity is nothing but what means the force experienced by unit mass is nothing but gravitational field intensity. So, about this point is there here. So about this point, about this distance, I need to check what is the intensity due to this mass I want to check here at a point P. So how can you define that intensity means? Intensity can be defined as I vector can be written as F vector divided by M. Generally, Newton's according to Newton's law of gravitation, F value we learned like this, F equal to G capital M small m divided by R square we learned here. So G M M divided by R square. So if I, if I write here, no? So we can write like, so I equal to, G M M divided by R square into what we get here M is in a M. One M one M will get cancelled. Therefore, as a result, intensity equal to what we get it means here. G M by R square will get it. It's nothing but almost equal to small g which we can tell here. So how can you write S I unit means S I unit is important here. S I unit again write force upon mass. Force upon mass is nothing but what we can write it Newton per kg which we can write it here. If I want to write dimensional formula, we know force. Force is nothing but what m power 1 l power 1 t power minus 2 divided by mass is m power 1 1 mass 1 mass katega dimensional formula milega l power 1 t power minus 2 milega either so if you observe here now intensity is inversely proportional to what nana r square which you can tell here therefore intensity is inversely proportional to r square means if you plot the general graph between intensity versus r what will get it here intensity versus r We'll get this steeper parabola, we'll get it like this. So x inverse proportional to y means what we get it, we'll get a rectangle hyperbola. Na? So similarly, what we get it here, Sm one small steeper parabola, which will get it here. So let me have a question to understand this concept. So let me write one question here. That question says like this. Na, na. What does the question ask means? Intensity, intensity of gravitational field gravitational field at infinity taken to be how much zero they mentioned question in this question because uh, gm by r square no r square means at infinity means how much zero and after that they mentioned one question like this they mentioned here what the given question means the question the given question like this uh, this is a coordinate system they given here here coordinates zero comma zero one mass they placed here at x equal to one another identical mass is they placing at x equal to two another identical mass at x equal to four another identical mass at x equal to eight and so on they're keeping like this they're keeping here what they want to do here means they want to find net intensity at the origin net intensity at the origin two times they repeated this question je 2019 they asked no je 2021 they asked this question and Ames also once they asked here this question already. In Ames, they already asked it. And need 21 also they asked this question. So if you observe here clearly here now, intensity due to this one, what will happen in this direction due to first mass, due to second mass also in this direction, due to third mass also in the same direction. So what will happen due to all the masses, what will happen? Same direction, you'll get it here. So let me erase, let me mention the diagram itself. So if you look into this now here. Intensity due to first one, what will happen here? In this direction. Due to second one, in this direction. Due to third one also, in this direction. Only really. Because uh, intensity is also converging only. So what we can write it means here, intensity can be written as what means I equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus and so on up to where we can write it. Infinity we can write it. Therefore, I can be written as, I1 can be written as what? Intensity basic formula we learned here, I equal to GM upon R square. So what we are having? G into M divided by, for first one distance is how much? X equal to 1 meter, no? 1 square. For second one, GM upon, distance from here to here, how much they even coordinate? 2, 2 square. Third one, GM upon, 
4 square, fourth one gm upon 8 square, and so on, it will be keep going. Therefore, net intensity can be written as I means here, gm I am taking common directly, 1 plus 1 by 2 square, 1 by 2 square is 1 by 4, 1 by 16, plus 88 8 is 64, 1 by 64, and so on, we are getting here. So, if you observe here, no, this is nothing but what we are getting here means infinite GP we are getting, infinite GP. So, infinite GP relation we studied in mathematics here. What we studied here means S infinity we learnt here. So, S infinity equal to what you get it here? S infinity equal to A by 1 minus R. A is nothing but first term. So, what is first term here? A equal to 1 we can choose, R equal to 1 by 4. Otherwise, if we choose A equal to 1 by 4, R we can choose as 1 by 16 which we can choose here. Therefore, I equal to what we can write here? I equal to gm into a by 1 minus r. We can write it here. Therefore, I equal to gm into 1 by 1 minus 1 by 4 r value. Yes, this is r value in no? second term. 1 by 4. 4 minus 1 is nothing but 3. This 4 will go to numerator. So, as a result, answer how much will get it means? I equal to how much will get it? I equal to 3 by 4 gm, which we got it here. Exactly similar answer which they asked in two exams. Once they asked in AIMS, once they asked in this GE 2021-21 question, they asked here. Yes, yes. Next, we are going to discuss about the what means neutral points. You are going to discuss here. So, what is meant by neutral point? First, we are going to discuss about what neutral points. What is meant by neutral point means where the point where resultant intensity is zero. So to explain you this concept, let me take one example here. This example I'm choosing like, we are having one mass m, another mass 4m. These both are separated by what distance means? These both are separated by a distance of are they separated? They want where resultant intensity is zero. Null point we need to calculate. So to calculate null point, so I'm assuming somewhere at this point intensity is zero, I'm assuming. So if I choose this distance is x now, then remaining distance we can choose like what means r minus x we can choose here. Due to mass one, let me take this is like one, this is like two. Due to mass one, intensity will be in this direction, i1. Due to mass two, intensity will be in this direction, i2. If you observe clearly, Whenever I1 equal to I2, then only net intensity is going to be zero. Otherwise, net intensity will not be zero. So that's why what I'm doing means I'm writing like because intensity, therefore net I net is zero. Na? So what we can write it here? I1 equal to I2. So what is intensity basic formula? I equal to we know that gm by r square we know here. Basic formula. So if you substitute here, no. So if you know I value is how much gm by r square na? gm divided by your distance is how much x na? gm by x squared is equal to g into mass is how much 4m, 4m divided by and distance from this point to here is how much r minus x whole square we can write it here. So what will happen means one mass, one mass will get cancelled, one g, one g will get cancelled. Therefore what we are having here, one by x square equal to what we are having, four by r minus x whole square. What I am doing means I am applying both sides square root now. So if you apply both sides square root now, so LH side will become one by x is equal to 2 by r minus x. You just cross multiply r minus x equals to 2x. Therefore, 3x equal to what will get it? r x equal to what will get it? r by 3. So, at a distance of r by 3, net intensity is going to be v0. From which mass? You have to observe here. x value from where? Which mass? From mass 1. From mass 1. We have to understand here. So to solve this type of questions easily, I'm going to give one short trick here. You have to remember the short trick. What the short trick here means? X equal to R by root over M2 divided by M1 plus 1. In this main condition is M2 should be greater than M1. And X is from where means? X is from M1. M2 should be greater than and X is from M1. Sir, can you show me proof? So let me choose this question only. X equal to R value R only is there. M2 value is how much? 4M divided by small m. M1 value is M. So 4M divided by M. 1M, 1M will get cancelled plus 1. So R by root 4 is how much? 2. 2 plus 1 is nothing but 3. One line answer we got it. 
and the distance from where we mentioned from one mass one so from one mass one we can tell here so so for you people i'm going to give a homework question you have to solve this question for homework so what is the question means here so the given here this is a short trick you have to remember please do remember it will save a lot of time for sure they'll ask you for competitive and what we are having here means we are having one mass m here at a distance r the separated another mass of 16 m then find intensity where net intensity is going to become zero from mass m they are asking solve this question as homework question sds this is for today's class for better performance I revise once again thanks for watching this video